Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Shade. Thank y'all so much for joining me for our astrology talk. For today, we are diving into some tips on how to deal with the Libra eclipse that we have happening on October 14th. Now, before you dive into this video, if you have not seen any of my videos on what a full moon, new moon means, what an eclipse means, or even what the sign of Libra represents in the zodiac chart, feel free to head over to my channel, Hidden Alchemy, where you can find tons and tons of astrology videos, and you can dive a little bit deeper into these topics. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into this solar eclipse in the sign of Libra that we have happening on the 14th. Now, a solar eclipse is when the sun and the moon are together in the same sign, and it is in conjunction or relationship with the collective north node or south node. Now, if right now the north node is in the sign of Aries, the south node is in the sign of Libra. So we have a south node solar eclipse happening on the 14th. Now, the sign of Libra represents our relation to people, places, and things. So it's not only just about our relationships, but it's about how we are in relation to people, to places, and to things. It deals with how we build harmony, how we deal with contracts in our relationships, and also it deals with money. Libra is ruled by the planet Venus. The planet Venus rules how we like to spend our time, how we like to make money, how we like to join forces with other people to make money, and how we like to be in a state of leisure, of pleasure and luxury. Now, Libra is a masculine air sign, so it's going to deal with connections and the intellect. So this is definitely going to be a solar eclipse that because it's a south node solar eclipse, whenever we're dealing with the south node, it's about letting go of something in order to bring something in. So because Libra naturally rules how we are in relation to people, places, and things, our contracts and our income, our money, our finances, this is going to definitely be an eclipse of a sacrifice. Something has to be sacrificed in order for something to come in. Now, the beautiful thing about this eclipse is it is a solar eclipse. So it's a new moon, essentially. Just because it's a new moon, when you're dealing with eclipses, it's not a time to manifest, right? Because eclipses essentially give you a situation that shifts your course correct, that gives you really a course correction. So it shifts your trajectory, but it's doing this shift to place you on the right trajectory of where you are trying to go and where you need to be. So a lot of times when we're dealing with eclipses, whether it's a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse, there is some sort of chaos that happens in our life out of nowhere. Or maybe if you are very in tune and very aware, you might have sensed the shift and the energy happening prior to that season that the eclipse was happening in. But once we get into that season of the eclipse, so when Libra season began in September, that's when you might have been able to sense some shifts happening. And now that we have the eclipse happening in October, we also have a second eclipse happening in a Venus sign in October. Expect for there to be some sort of sacrifice or letting go that might have been out of nowhere, but it's really to help pivot you and place you on the track and trajectory of where you are trying to go. So that's why I say a big tip when you're dealing with eclipses, you don't want to manifest. Why? Because you want to allow the change and the shift to happen to you. Give some breathing room to accept what has shifted and changed. Now you can deal with that new course correction. Because a lot of times when you are manifesting during an eclipse season, you are trying to plant a seed during a time where, uh, theoretically speaking, a tornado is happening, right? So you can't really plant something when there's so much shift happening in the foundation of the soil and the ground. So you really want to use this time, especially because it's a south node solar eclipse, something has to be let go. And whatever is going to be let go of, it's going to be in particular pertaining to our relationships with people, our contracts. And whenever you're working with Libra energy, Libra likes to people please, okay? I had an astrologer say, Librans know how to eat shit and smile. And I was like, oh, that is perfect for describing Venus energy, both Libra and Taurus, but definitely Libra. So 
this eclipse season can really be an opportunity to let go of some core habits within yourself that you have been bringing to the table pertaining to your partnerships and your relationships. Now, a great thing about this eclipse is we don't have hard aspects. The main hard aspect that we have is Pluto is going to be squaring this eclipse. Pluto right now is in the sign of Capricorn, exiting out of Capricorn, going back into Aquarius. So it is squaring this eclipse. And what I feel from this is there is going to be a deep rooted letting go of a habit, of a way of thinking, of a way of moving in your work environment. Capricorn rules business, it rules infrastructure, it rules our family structure as well and how we're seen in the world. So there is going to have to be a deep rooted change on an internal level in order for you to receive the energy of this new moon, in order for you to be in new types of contracts, in order for you to have more harmony, more balance, and more peace in your life, that Pluto square is literally removing the veil of you and you have been the villain and you have been the problem. And there's going to be a deep need to change a way of thinking, a way of moving, a way of being in the world, a way of adapting, a way of being in relation with other people. And because Pluto is in Capricorn, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a breaking of institutions, of jobs, of careers, right? Whole course corrections happening with this eclipse season. So a big tip that I will say for most folks, just allow the change to happen. Notice where you have Libra in your chart and allow this change to take place. Allow the eclipse to come in, reorganize, redirect the things that need redirecting so that you can be on the path of where you are heading. Now, another reason as to why you don't want to do too much manifesting for this eclipse is because we have a second eclipse happening at the end of the month, right before Halloween. So October is definitely that spooky time for us as a collective. The next eclipse that we have happening will be a lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus, where we will finally finish the Taurus Scorpio aspect that we have been working with for the past year and a half. So lots and lots of change. Slow down if you can this month. A big tip that I would say is journal. Write things down. You want to be as present as possible during eclipses because the people that you are meeting, the situations that you are in, the environments, these are all going to play pivotal roles in your life for the next year. So go ahead and journal. Notice what's happening around you. Notice the people that you're around, the people that you're meeting. Because it's a south node eclipse, notice the people that are coming back into your life right? Just because we're dealing with the South Node doesn't always mean that we have to let everything go. No. Sometimes there's there's blessings from the past that can come back, but we first have to sacrifice and let something go that we no longer need in this present moment. So take some time to journal. If you can spend some time in nature, really grounding your energy for these two eclipses we have this month, that will be great if you can be around some water. And also connect with people, socialize. It's still Libra season. So you want to get out there. You want to network. You want to meet people and know that every person that you're meeting during this eclipse season, you are meeting them for a specific destined reason. So stay present, stay grounded, and most importantly, stay grateful. All right, y'all. I will see you for our next eclipse video that we have happening at the end of the month. Happy eclipse season, and I will see you later.